Well, hello there. <laughs> it's Adam and Steve. <laughs> well, two guys for Rejoice. We're happy to, uh, to be back together. Uh, we've been on the road quite a bit. So on the road again? <laughs> haven't been able to <laughs> road again? Sorry about be that. here as much little as, Willie Nelson as we'd like. Hey, that's all right. Nothing, yeah. wrong, with, nothing wrong with little Willie. Yeah. Uh, today we'd like to talk about how to, uh, why it is that we need each other. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, there are no Lone Ranger Christians uh, or there shouldn't be. It's never, we're never called to do life by ourselves. And we're, nor are we called to just neglect everybody else and do our own thing. Mm -hmm. And so, and, you know, it's, it's, it's so important for us to think about how to encourage each other and, right. and uh, help each other along as we live our lives. So. Well, and that's a principle we see all throughout, really all of Scripture, but particularly in, into the New Testament. Uh, I've heard people multiple times say, well, I can be a Christian, but not go to church. Yeah, I think that's and, and I can't find that principle in, yeah. in Scripture anywhere. Uh, instead, all throughout Scripture, we see that we're supposed to meet together. We're supposed to live life together. Right? We're supposed to encourage each other. We're supposed to exhort each other. And when there are actually, Adam, about 75 or 80 things, 80 times in the New Testament, the Bible says that we're to do something one for each, one for another. Right. And over and over. I mean, it's, I, I think it's trying to get a point across. Right. It, it might be important if he mentions yeah. it that many times. Right. And often whenever we do start to pull away, whenever we don't, we don't feel like going to be around other Christians. We don't feel like going to church. We don't feel like doing whatever the, the, the pattern is that we've been, uh, been accustomed to is whenever things get hard. Yeah. And we see in Hebrews chapter 12 that that is exactly the opposite of what we ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, in Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 12, So take a new grip with your tired hands mm -hmm. and strengthen your weak knees. <laughs> All right, this is a bad day. Yeah, yeah, things are, it's getting tough. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. Yeah. If we go through those troubles, if we go through that struggle, if we continue to engage whenever we really don't want to, if we take another grip yeah. and we walk through that dark time, it sets a path. It blazes a trail for those that may be following us. Yeah. And that is as much fruit that brings honor to God as anything else that we can do. And Jesus, if you go a little bit earlier in that chapter... Um, the writer of Hebrews tells us when you're going through those days when you feel weary and you just about you feel like you want to quit think about Jesus think about what he went through think about what he endured the cross and all that he went through because and he says do that so you don't become weary and quit mm -hmm. and the idea is this we have Jesus who's gone before us and he's helped he's helped us get through we we, we know that we've not gone through what he went through for us. So we can keep on with, by his help, taking another step and going a little bit further. But also, as he points out there, I do this also because there's other people that are coming behind me. Right. And if I quit, it may encourage them to quit. If I get tired and I decide that I can't do it anymore, it, I may be causing other people to do the same thing. So not only do I look ahead and see Jesus, but I look behind me and I make sure that I'm not discouraging those who are around me. Absolutely. I think it's important to keep that in mind. So if this is a day that you're feeling tired, if this is a week that you're feeling discouraged, if you're wondering if you just have the strength to get up and, and start again tomorrow, number one, take courage. Number two, keep walking. Yeah. Think about yeah. Jesus and keep on walking. But focus on him. Yeah. And think about those who you're setting an example for. Think about those that you can encourage. Because one of the things that I've found whenever I'm the most tired, if I focus on myself, I'm the least motivated to keep working. Mm -hmm. But if whenever I'm tired, I focus on someone else, I'll keep taking that next step. Yeah. We love you, and we encourage you to come and join us uh, each Sunday and Wednesday nights, too. Yep. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week.